so hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i'll be solving problem palindrome in making from code chef starter 66 and i will also make a video for connect all cities so stay tuned for that as well now let's move on to the solution but before we move on to the solution i want to tell you guys about newton school coding contest so newton school organizes coding contest every month you guys can solve some quality problems and also compete against top coders in the world this will be a good opportunity to benchmark yourself where you guys are lying in respect to other students in India or around the world. And not only that, along with this, you can also win some cash prizes. You can win rewards up to rupees 90,000. You can also win scholarships up to rupees 20,000. And along with this, there will also be some job opportunities. So this month, the contest will be on 30th of November. It will be around two and a half hours from 9 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. So do not forget to sign up. Uh, the link will be in the description. So do go and sign up from there. So in the problem, we have been given an array A of length n, where n can be up to 10 to the power 5. So something like A1, A2, A3, so on up to An. Now we want to make this array A a palindrome. That means for every index i, we want to make a of i equal to a of n plus 1 minus i. For example, we want to make a1 equal to a n and we want to make a2 equal to a n minus 1 and so on. right? And to do this, we have been given an operation. So in one operation, you can choose some subarray from a l up to a r and then increment all the elements in the subarray, right? So you choose all the elements from AL up to AR and do A of I is equal to A of I plus one. So you increment one over the entire subarray. And given this, you have to find the minimum number of operations that are required, minimum number of operations that are required to make this a palindrome. For example, uh, let's say your array A is equal to 1, 7, 3 and 4, 9, 1. Then first we will choose this subarray 7 and 3 and add 1 to this subarray. So we get 1, 8, 4, 4, 9, 1. This was the first operation. Then we can only choose 8 and apply operation on this. Then we get 1, 9, 4, 4, 9, 1. Now this is a palindrome. So it took us two operations to make array A a palindrome and that is our answer, right? So given some array A and the operation, find the minimum number of operations that are required to make that array A a palindrome. That is the entire problem. So how can we solve this? Let's move on to the solution. So in the problem, uh, I have to solve this for the given operation. That is, we can choose some subarray from AL to AR and increment the entire subarray. But before I solve for this, I will define a simpler operation and solve for that, right? So first I will solve the problem for this operation and then try to use the observations that I had in this operation to solve it for the given operation, right? So I will define the simple operation as instead of choosing some subarray from AL to AR, I can only choose one element. So I can only choose one element AI and increment it to AI plus one. That is the simpler operation. So first I will try to solve the problem for this operation and then try to extend the solution to the given operation, right? So let's do that first. Uh, let's say my given array A is something like 7, 5, 2, 3, 1, 2, 6, 4, 4, 3, right? Something like this. Now, I have to make this 3 equal to this 7. So, obviously, I will only apply operations on 3, right? Because to make this 3 equal to 7, I will only need 4 operations. I will only need 4 operations. But if I also apply op operations on 7, let's say I apply 2 operations on 7, then this 7 becomes a 9. Now I have to apply 6 operations on 3. So it will take me 6 operations to make 3 equal to 9 and these extra 2 operations. So it will take me in total 8 operations to make these elements equal. And as you can see, obviously only applying operations on the 
smaller element is optimal if you also apply operation on the larger element it will take us more operations to make them both equal so we can draw an observation from this so the very first observation that we can have is you can compare ai and a of n plus 1 minus i and only op apply operations and only apply operations on smaller element right because it is obviously foolish to apply operations on the larger element and based on this i can create a new array let's call it the difference array where difference of i will tell me the number of operations that i need to apply that i need to apply on ai for example if i try to build the difference array for the given array a i have 7 5 2 3 1 2 6 4 4 3 so here i will apply zero operations right because all the operations have to have to be applied on 3 so here if i create a difference array here it is 0 here it is 4 similarly here i will only apply operations on 4 so i will apply one operation here and zero operation here so here i will apply zero so here i i will apply two operations here i will apply zero operations here it will be three operations here it will be one operation here it will be zero and here it will be zero right so the total number of operations that are required to make this a palindrome is just sum of these values right so it will take me 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4 this is 5 and this is so it will take me 11 operations to make this array a palindrome but that is the case when i can only use the simpler operation right but in the original problem i can choose some sub array and increment the entire sub array so now instead of applying the simpler operation i have i will try to apply the given operation on this and try to optimize this 11 moves to even better so let me redraw this again and now let's try to apply the given operation instead of applying the simpler operation right so i have 7 5 2 3 1 again i had 2 6 4 4 and my difference array was something like 0 0 2 3 1 0 0 0, 0 0 and here it was in the end 1 4 right so here for this two i will have to apply two operations so let me uh, show this using two bars so i will apply two operations here now here i have to apply three operations but i already have two ongoing operations right i already have two ongoing operations so i will just use the, these two operations here right so i can extend these two operations to here and as this needs three uh, operations i will start one new operation right so i will start one new operation similarly here i only need one operation so i will just use this one operation and leave these two out so in total it only took me how many operations it only took me three operations here it only took me three operations while previously in the simple operation it it would have taken me 2 plus 3 plus 1 it would have taken me six operations but now using the given operation i can do the same thing in three operations now how do you write this thing mathematically so if you have to write this thing math mathematically you can say number of operations used are just summation of difference of i minus difference of i minus 1 right because here let me draw this again we have 7 5 2 3 1 2 6 4 4 3 we have 0 0 2 3 1 0 0 0 1 4 right here we are using two operations right because you start two new bars so you can say the number of operations used here are 2 minus 0 that is difference of 3 minus difference of 2 that is just difference of i minus difference of i minus 1 
now for three you only need to start one new operation so you can start one new operation here and you can say the number of new operations here are three minus two so that is difference of four minus difference of three similarly here for one you don't need to start any new operation so if you compute difference of 5 minus difference of 4 it is 1 minus 3 and this is minus 2 so you can say whenever your difference is negative that is whenever your difference of i minus difference of i minus 1 is negative you can ignore it and set it to 0 right so here we will require 1 minus 3 that is minus 2 operations but as minus 2 is negative we can just ignore this so you can say in total it will take me 2 minus 0 plus 3 minus 2 that is equal to 3 operations similarly if we come here here it, here it will take me one operation so I need to start a new operation here so I will start a new operation here so I can say 1 minus 0 right similarly here for 4 I have to start 3 new operations so I, I will extend this and it will take me 3 new operations that is 4 minus 1 so I can say 1 minus 0 plus 4 minus 3 so it will take me 4 operations so it took me 3 operations here right on this part and it took me four operations here on this part so in total i can now do this in seven operations and that is the entire solution so basically you first like rephrase the given operation you first try to solve this for a simpler operation when you apply the simple operation you got the observation that you only have to apply operations on smaller elements then using that you built a new array called difference of i where difference of i is just number of operations that are uh, that I need to apply on given AI and then using that difference array you found some observations and it took you 11 operations using a simple operation to make it a palindrome but when we try to use the given operation we were able to find uh, we were able to find the optimal approach and it took us six of uh, it took us seven operations instead of 11 right so we were able to optimize our solution using the given approach so if I have to summarize the solution once again, I can write a summary. First of all, build a difference array. And we know difference of i is just number of operations needed for AI right for example if we have seven and if we have three we need to apply four operations on this that is just seven minus three right so you can say your difference of i is equal to a of n plus one minus i minus a i but if we check for seven here we have to apply zero operations But if you apply this formula here, you will get 3 minus 7 that is equal to minus 4, right? So we also have to handle this case where your a of n plus 1 minus i minus a i is equal to negative. In that case, your answer has to be 0. So you can apply a max function here. You can say a of n plus 1 minus i minus a i if the answer is positive. And if the answer is negative, then the answer is just 0. So you can say maximum of 0 comma a of n plus 1 minus i minus a i. So that is how we compute your difference array, right? That is the formula for your difference array. Then we know that your answer is initially equal to difference of one, right? Then for i going from two up to n, you can say your answer plus equal to maximum of difference of i minus difference of i minus 1 comma 0 right like we saw here we will add to our answer difference of 3 minus difference of 2 if it's positive and if it's negative for example in our case difference of 5 minus difference of 4 was equal to 1 minus 3 and this came up to be minus 2 so in that case we will only add a 0 we will not add minus Right? So that's why we again do a maximum of difference of i minus difference of i minus 1 and if this value becomes negative then we will just add a 0 instead of the negative value. 
and that is the entire solution so if you guys have to see the code for this here is the code so i will keep two arrays a difference array and my given array so i will take in the given array then i will compute my difference of i is equal to array n minus one minus i uh, minus array of i or you can also rephrase this i can remove this bit and i can say my difference of i is just equal to maximum of zero and area of n minus one minus i minus area of i then my answer is just equal to difference of zero then i will go over the entire area so i can also write this as for long law i is equal to one i is less than n plus plus i answer plus equal to maximum of zero and difference of i minus difference of i minus one right so that is the entire solution and if you guys have some doubts feel free to drop it in the comments and i will be happy to answer them see you guys in the next one bye bye